Um, but what I'm interested in is actually, as was Ray Davies, was the tradition that we had in Britain um, before the First World War, going back to the Victorian and Edwardian eras. I mean, after World War I into the 1920s, our popular culture became very Americanized. Um, but before that, we had something called Music Hall, um, which is a cousin, if you like, of uh, what you had in the States, which was called Vaudeville which featured all kinds of different acts, like ventriloquists and strong men and things like that. But really at the heart of it was songs. It was really mostly about songs and, and laughter, singing and laughter. And uh, from about the middle of the 19th century onwards, this became, by 1900, a huge, I mean, really the first mass popular entertainment. It was created by the working classes, by uh, particularly London working classes, by Cockneys, basically. And I've always been very interested in musical, going back to my early days, my first gigs as a teenager, uh, which were playing a piano in pubs. And uh, I played quite a lot of these old songs without really knowing much about the history of them or anything. And um, quite a lot later, uh, I made my first appearance, my first and last appearance in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone seen a film called The Greatest Game Ever Played? A couple of people. <laughs> no, it, w it wasn't a huge hit. It wasn't a terrible movie, though. Um, but it's set in 1913, and I'm in one scene, and I'm the piano player in a pub. <laughs> which is kind of tight casting. Um, it's a pub in the East End of London in 1913. So I had to find a song to perform in this scene. And I did another deep dive into the musical history and uh, came up with a song that was popular in the year 1913. And I thought I'd play it for you, if that's all right. This is one of many musical songs which are humorous. More often than not, they were humorous. Sometimes they were satirical. They'd be poking fun at the rich and powerful and the, the, the pompous and pretentious. But other times they were just laughing at the absurdities of everyday life. And I think this, that's, this is probably what this song is all about. It's called Hello, Hello, Who's Your Lady Friend? Okay. with a 
pretty girl upon his knee. Mark cries, what does it mean when pointing at a screen?